All right, this one's gonna be on uh, CBFTP. It's a uh, FTP client and also a FXP client. Um, so I'll talk about both of them. But this is a program. Uh, it's an NCURS, you know, text user interface style. Kind of surprised I never heard of it. Uh, man, this one has been out for since 2011, believe that or not. And uh, I never heard of it until recently. Anyways, uh, that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna show you how to set up here. Real easy. First thing you want to do is hit capital A here or shift A to add a site, right? Oh yeah. Another thing is, uh, I don't have an FTP, um, server set up, but, uh, I'm going to use my uh, Android phone for this. Like we did last time. So, uh, what are we doing here? I'm going to use this program here. It's called primitive FTP, uh, for Android. And you can actually set up a, uh, a server so to try out this program if you want. All right. Anyways, that's what we're going to do here. Uh, so when you hit uh, shift A here, and in here, real simple, you navigate just using up, down, left, right arrow keys, and you get to the part that you want. So this is for names here, when hit enter, and I'm gonna change the name to, I don't know, my phone, All right? And the address, since we don't have like a, you know, a domain name or anything like that, we're gonna use our um, IP address from our router here. So 192, 168, what does it say on this Android phone here? 1.170 and our port is 12345 right uh you want to use none here usually that's the case for um even for like my geocities website you you want to use none um username okay for this android part here is just handbin or whatever it is you set it to right that's it. And as far as the login slots and all this is up to you. You know, if you want one user only and slot is usually like two or three up to you. Real simple. They do have this advanced slots configurations, which I'm probably not going to touch. Um, other stuff here. If you want to use like IPV four only or six, uh, they have up to there, but generally IPV four is fine. This other one here for the list command, uh, this stat dash L. I heard this one was faster based on, uh, I think I read in the readme somewhere. Um, but it's not always compatible. So they do have this other one called list. So FYI there, if you want to change that around. And as far as this base path, um, usually, you know, the root path is what you want by default. But I don't know if for some reason when I'm doing this Android phone uh, method here, it never let me navigate outside of what I, uh, initially uh logged into so if you're doing this on an android phone um maybe yours is the same as mine but i usually have to use like storage here as my um, beginning path and then from there i can navigate you know anywhere else uh it's kind of weird but that's how that works um that's it for that part as far as these other ones here um, I'm not really too sure on it, you know, some, probably some, um, certificate or something like that you can read up on the readme page on uh, their website, but if you want to enable it or disable it, you can hit enter on it and you see this X goes away, right? So that's it for the, um, anything else here, configuration for skip list. Uh, so this one's for like wildcard or regular expressions where you can actually, uh, I guess skip files that you don't want to, um, you know, bother with up to you but if you want to escape out of this you hit escape to go back uh other stuff you can do in here i don't know but once you're done real simple you have to hit um the d hotkey here for um save changes so when hit d for save changes right now if you want to if you have like more websites or uh you know maybe more phones or whatever you can hit uh shift a again and add another one and then you know hit d and you have more and stuff like that, all right? But that's all you gotta do for adding uh, sites into, um, you know, this uh, program here. Now, after we add it, we have to connect to it, right? So when you hit uh, connect here, and to connect is simple. You can use your right arrow key to connect, or uh, you hit B on, you know, whatever sites that you wanna connect to. So you hit B here, and now we're in our phone. Right, so I can navigate, uh, you know, files within my uh, Android phone here. All right, um, so this is here. So let's say if I want to transfer files to this phone, right? How would I do that? Uh, you hit Tab, right? 
And now you have like a dual ping kind of thing. So you can hit tab between them now. All right. Uh, if you want to uh, quit out of one pane, you can hit C, right? C or tab here. Tab is to tab between them. But here you can actually connect to another server. Uh, and this is where the FXP comes to play. Uh, FXP stands for File Exchange Protocol, which will allow you to uh, transfer from one server to another server. Instead of like, you know, a server to your local machine and your local machine to another server, which takes a long time. You can just do it from server to server. Um, so that's what that works. I've actually never tried that one, but uh, I actually never heard of FXP either, but uh, that's what you can do with this program here. But uh, we're just gonna use uh, FTP, which is just file, uh, was that? file transfer protocol, and we're just gonna download it to our uh, local machine or maybe upload it to the server, right? Anyways, that's what we're gonna do here on uh, our downloads path here. So in here, uh, I got a couple of files. If I wanted to transfer these files, I can do uh, space to highlight them. Uh, and you can do multiple files or you can do all files, uh, it's up to you. But we're gonna do space here. So let's say for example, this menu icon, this killer instinct one here. So we have three of them here, right? And after you select them, you just hit T to uh, transfer them. Um, that's it, right? We hit T. And we're going to transfer them. So you can see the bottom is transferring it, um, the progress bar there. And that's it. So now I can hit tab here. Now this part over here, it might not uh, always refresh. So all you got to do is once it's transferred, you're going to do, uh, you know, hit uh, left and then right arrow to go back in again. And now you have these three um, files that we transfer. We have this Zeus file and we have this menu and we have this killer instinct. So if you want to delete any of these files, you can hit, you can highlight on them and then hit delete and you'll see I'll allow you to confirm if you want to delete it. You hit yes, right? And these two ones here, if I select one, two, and I hit delete, I'll say two files delete, yes, and that's it. Now if I want to transfer it back to, uh, let's say from my server here, and I want to download to my local machine, um, how would I do that, right? So if I do, uh, let's say this one here, this uh, primitive FTP, whatever it is, if I want to download that, I hit uh, Shift and D, and there you go. It'll just download that to uh, a local machine here. And uh, where the hell is that? Uh, we'll close that off and we'll do it again here. So this uh, primitive FTPD here, this log file that we just downloaded, stick here, and I can view that by using a V. And look at this. All right, that's our uh, log file, whatever. Uh, so hit escape out of that. So you can actually view stuff in here too if you want, or you can view from here, same thing, to hit V and that's all, that will view it. Uh, the only thing I hate about this program, uh, as far as the UI here, is this stupid uh, CNN ticker at the bottom here. It takes forever to uh, see all the hotkeys. I wish they just make a, a fucking menu or like an alternative screen to uh, show all the uh, hotkeys at the same time. So what I actually did was actually... Uh, copy the, all that sucker at one time and I can actually search in here if I wanted to, you know, if I want to search delete here. Um, but yeah, they do have a lot of hotkeys, just that like different screen has different hotkeys. So, um, you know, you have to sit through there just to look at the, the hotkeys that you want to look at. But generally, um, the only hotkey that you need to know is, was that A here to add site. They do have a global um, settings um you know there's a the transfer one there's a bunch of other ones but generally uh it's just uh the browsing the uh, global the ad and the right arrow keys or the b to uh connect to the server stuff like that you can do a raw command basically allow you to do like uh command line stuff instead of using the end curse um although see you hit w here to have raw commands which i don't really know actually any of the raw commands but it should be like a put, get, and list, and whatever it is, uh, if you want to use command line. Anyways, uh, what else can you do in here? They do have a snake game, if you guys want to play that one. All right, the snake game here, real simple. You use a capital S. So they do a capital S here. And this is a snake game that you can do. Really not part of the program, but uh, if you're transferring files, you can do it from here and play games. Anyways, uh, that's that. As far as what else is there that I need to talk about, if I can remember them all. 
most of these you can read uh, on their website. Although the hotkeys is not on their website. So that's why I had to like, you know, um, write down myself because I couldn't stand looking at a stupid uh, ticker shit. It would take me like five minutes like per screen just to look at uh, the hotkeys that you want to look at. So that's the only thing I hate about the program. And another thing is that it doesn't have Vim hotkeys in the program. And I believe the hotkeys are uh, hard coded, so you can't really change it either with a config file or anything like that. Um, so that's it for that, really. Oh, yeah, if you want to change any of these settings here um, that you've done, all you do is hit uh, Shift and E. And you can go in here and change, you know, whatever it is, like the different names. I said I changed this to Neo, right? And I hit D to save. And there we go. Um, pretty much it, really. I mean, it's not hard of a program. I really like it. And uh, like I said, I've been looking for an FTP uh, text user interface for a while. And to my surprise, I've never heard of this program. And it's, I don't think it's very popular either because uh, I usually have never heard anyone mention it, even in the uh, uh, command line subreddit. Um, <laughs> But it's a pretty cool program. Check it out if you need an FTP client or an FXP client. Uh, I dig it. All right. That'll be it for this one.